are you black or are you Indian? This is what sealed it for him. Not arguably, not maybe the most popular first lady of all time. This was a mess. <laughs> this was a mess. Can I... This election thing, this has been the best movie I've seen in ages. I told you, like, most movies now are in script. Dune 2 was, was crap, Deadpool Wolver and Wolverine was garbage. This has been the best film I've seen in years. In terms of storyline, excitement, twist, tons, crazy moments. But the sad thing is, this isn't a movie. This isn't fiction. This is reality. This is really happening. Like the amount of stuff that's happened in the past few like, bro, I've, I've watched all the President's Men. I've watched Ides of March. I've watched several political films. Nothing has been like this. Nothing has been like, like this. This is like this. This is the greatest political film I've ever seen, except that it's real. So this thing with Trump, with the black journalist was, I mean, it was wild. <laughs> this, this stuff was wild. I, I could hardly even get through the whole thing because I was like, it's, it was so awkward. It was weird. He wasn't really answering the questions. What the questions being asked was just odd. Um, but I think the most fascinating thing about it, and I think that this, obviously, the whole combo was Kamala Harris and him saying that, oh, she just saw they became black. That's before that she saw that he was Indian. And which has all brought up this whole thing of Kamala Harris and her race. Now, the internet needs to relax. The internet needs to relax. The internet needs the internet needs to relax. The in, like you see, like the internet just needs to chill. That's what I'm saying about this, this image here. The internet needs to chill because this is ridiculous. This is this is ridiculous. Um, but. This image is relevant. It is relevant. So, the thing about Kamala Harris is she's mixed race. She's mixed race. And I have actually... So, I had a very myopic and narrow-minded view with regards to people who are mixed race because in my view, was, oh yeah, if you're half black, half white, you're half black, half white. So when people say, oh no, I'm black. What do you mean by you're black? You're half black, half white. I remember a convo that I had with um, my a, a colleague of mine who I hated. She was basically, she, she was a moron. But she did say something interesting to me. And she, because she's mixed race, so she's half Jamaican, half white. And she said that, um, oh no, I identify as black. And I was like, Wait, how do you mean you're identified as black? You're half black, half white. So, 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 so the other half of your family, you're just going to disregard that? Like, well, no, it's my decision. How I live my life and how I am, I identify as black, I live as black. And I was like, okay. So what I learned was, you have to, to choose. There is no such thing as, oh, I'm mixed race. No, you have to choose who you are. Because if we live in the real world, not in a utopia, in a utopia, Oh, you are half black, half white, half this, half that, and everyone is, is, is everything. But that's not the real world. In the real world, we have labels and everybody is pigeonholed. Everybody is pigeonholed. So, are you black? Are you white? Are you this? Are you that? So, Kamal Harris is half Indian, half Jamaica. So, on one hand, she embraces her Indian heritage because... Half of us Indian, and I'll actually even go a bit further than that. So she embraces her Indian her heritage, but also she also embraces her black heritage as well. Because this reminds me of so in university, I had a lady in my year, she was white French, and she had a daughter with a Jamaican guy. And she told us that her daughter would do her hair one way with her black friends and another way with her white friends. And I was like, that is insane. But she was like, yeah, like she had to sort of code switch between being with her black friends and being with her white friends. I was like, that's insane. 
Which is why I've, I've always said, and you know, people don't take this the wrong way. Like, if I was to ever have kids, my kids are going to be, be black. So if I'm going to have kids, it's with a black woman. I'm sorry. Because I don't know how to raise mixed race. I do not know how I'd be able to raise a mixed race child and that child completely shuns off my wife's side of the family. So if I married a white woman and my child just completely shuns the white side of the family or you now have to code switch, I just think that that is too confusing for it for a child. I know it's 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 messed up, but it's like I actually feel for mixed race people in terms of you code switching, but there are two ways. So there are those who code switch and then those who no 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 this is who I am and I think See, for, and I think this is, this is where Trump was getting at with Kamala Harris. Because where he was getting out with Trump with Kamala Harris was, because this is the reality. Kamala Harris doesn't have a good relationship with her dad, who's Jar Jar Bacon, and they're sort of distance. And I think that if you read her story, she was much closer to her mom than they did, because I think they went through a divorce and she just felt way with her dad. So her and her dad, there's this sort of distance between them. So I, so the, I, I, and I think, and I believe this is what it is. She is sort of playing both sides because that's Mindy Kaling. And Mindy Kaling is obviously a very famous Indian actress. I think she was in the office. And they were, they were doing a show and I think Kamala Harris says, oh yeah, yeah, I'm Indian. And she talks of her Indian heritage. So there's times when Kamala Harris will say, oh yeah, I'm Indian. And at times when she's now black. So at times when she, um, people will say, oh, the first Indian thing, and she embraces this, oh, yes, I'm Indian. At the times where she'll, no, I'm the first black vice president. So for what Trump is going at is, are you black or are you Indian? You can't be the first black and then, oh, I'm Indian. So it's like you're sort of playing both sides. And I'll get back to why that is could be politically harmful if you don't choose a side because the sad thing for Kamala Harris, and I'll tell you why afterwards, is you do have to pick a side. You do have to pick a side. A mixed race political candidate does not work. It simply does not work. Because let me, I want to bring you another example. So, and I think you all know this guy. Drake. <laughs> the way Drake carries himself is I'm a black artist. That's how he, he, he carries himself. But Drake is half white, half black. That's his mother to the left and his father to, to the right. And if you look at his story and everything, he's definitely a lot closer to his mom than his dad. Obviously, he's obviously rekindled um, the stuff with his dad. Obviously, his dad was in worse behavior video. But he's definitely been much closer all throughout his life to his, with his mom than his, his dad. But being a hip-hop artist, being in rap, being in that space, he can't be, hey, I'm the mixed race artist who's, no, he's black. And he presents himself as black. And we've also got to keep it real here. Is that right? He looks familiar, doesn't he? He looks very familiar. Obama, that's Obama's the right. To the left is Obama's mother. Obama's mother is who raised him. I think she was from, Kansas, if I'm sure, is what? No, I think it's. I think she was from from Kansas, either Iowa or Kansas. I think it was Kansas. So obviously, his father is obviously Kenyan, but he didn't really have that close relationship with his father. But he had a much closer relationship with his mother. So his white mother raised him. But Obama was not running as a biracial president. He's not running as a president who's oh half black, half white. Oh, um, I know I'm black, but I'm also white as well. He was running as I'm a black president and I'm a black guy 100 100% and do you know what's really singed it because one thing to see the, the, the issue with the Drake though is that oh I'm black but his baby mother is a white sponsor with a fat ass that's what I mean it is like go look 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 her up she is a a former white adult star with a fat ass but what makes Obama different is not only did he present himself as black is one thing. This is what sealed it for him. Not arguably, not maybe the most popular first lady of all time. The most popular first lady of all time. Like there is no first lady that was more loved, more popular or more just celebrated as Michelle Obama. So 
by her now being by Obama's side a full-on black woman, oh, like there's no question there. Because you know what people always say? You are who you marry. Who you have kids with, that's who what really determines you. So once we just saw Michelle Obama, I was like, oh no, 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 like, okay, no, it's black, it's black. So we come back here. And here is where it gets tricky. Where are we at? Here's where it gets tricky here. So let's say they debate. And they agree to a, a debate, which I think is going to be box office. Guys, I'm going to do like a pre-match, post-match of that debate. I mean, this could be crazy. Let's say they debate. debate and then Trump just says, Kamala, what do you identify as? Then Kamala's like, no, no, no. Like, why should I answer this? That is wrong as inappropriate. And Donald Trump just says that, shouldn't the American people know who you identify as? So please tell the American people who you identify as. If Kamala says, I identify as half black, half Indian, that is political suicide. It's political suicide. If she says, oh, I'm half black, half Indian. She dare not say that I'm Indian. <laughs> you dare not say that. Because you've been running as the first, as the potential, not only the first black vice president, but the potential first black female president. Now, if she now says that I identify as black, you're shunning your Indian side, which we've seen at several situations you've tried to embrace. Because, and I, and I believe this is true, Kamala doesn't want to come out and say what she identifies as. Because see, for Obama, oh, it's simple, yeah, I'm black. Yeah, I'm black, yeah, that's what I am. For Kamala Harris, you can just see based on just what we've seen. Because there are instances where she's, no, no, I'm Indian. When she has said completely, I'm Indian. And the times where she said, oh, I'm black. There is no footage that exists of Obama says, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm white. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm mixed race. He's lived his life, oh, yeah, I'm black. Yeah, I'm technically biracial, but I live black. And I know many people who are technically biracial, but they live black and they identify as black. I believe Kamala Harris, she identifies as both. So Trump's whole thing is, so when you're on TV shows or you're sort of like within your personal space, you're Indian, but when you're now in the political sphere where it's now can be, cannot help you politically, you're not black. Because what Trump can say is, why should anyone trust you? Why should black people trust you if you're going to be present where you can just code switch? Because now, what if you now win the presidency and you're like, you know what? I'm actually going to do more for Indian people than I do for black people because I actually feel more closer to Indian people than I do for black people. And this is where it gets even trickier. Remember what I said about your boy Obama? This is Obama's winning war weapon here. I think the... Of, apart from just his personality, his great speaking, and how he carried himself, Michelle Obama was the icing on the cake. That really said, okay, now this, he really stands apart. Kamala Harris's husband is white. So Trump can really do some serious damage, and it gets deeper. Blacks for Trump is a thing. <laughs> So, you see, as much as that was a complete and total m madness with Trump, with the black John journalists, I don't think it's going to change those black men who don't like Kamala Harris. I don't think that interview changes anything. It, doesn't, it does not move, move, move anything. So, um, you see, with regards to black women, oh, black, black, black women, no, 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 Trump is a freaking... More. <laughs> they know that. So, like, most, if not all black women know that's not Trump. The, the, the guy's a, a joke. Like, he is literally a clown. <laughs> he is literally a clown. So, and my thing, even if you vote for Trump, cool. One thing we have to agree upon, he is a clown. <laughs> that's just how he carries himself. He's like, no, no, the, the guy's a clown. Like, if an alien saw Trump being interviewed or talking, they'd be thinking that, no, the guy's a clown. <laughs> Come on, the guy's a clown. Come on. Um, but here's the, here's the thing. Kamala Harris can turn this around. So, see, so if I was like, so let's say 
look, I'm not politically Republican, Democrat. So, but if I was advising Trump, I'd be like, no, ask in the debates, who do you identify as? And put her in the corner. And if she refuses to respond, well, people are like, oh, okay, wait a minute. So you're not going to choose a side? Hmm, okay, whoa, wait, 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 what is it? How can we trust you when you, 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 you can't stand firm? Politically, you've got to choose. It is what it is. You have to choose. You can't flip-flop. But Kamala Harris can turn this around by saying, how are you, this is not a presidency about who, what, what we identify as whether we are black or Indian. And I'm not going to be a president for black people or, or Indian people. I'm going to be a president for black people, Indian people, white people, Asian people, Latino people. So I, my, I'm going to be a president for all. So while you're trying to divide and conquer and pigeonhole, I'm here to be a president for all people. So what identifies doesn't matter. I, and so you know, I'll tell you what I identify as. I identify as an American. And I identify as a beacon and as a symbol for all American people. That's me being the Democrat guy to sort of respond to that curveball that Trump will throw. But it makes things interesting. It makes things interesting. Um, I, I want to say debates. See, I think because I just really want people to understand, if you're Trump, you probably don't want to de debate because you've already done so well. But I just think that if he now starts to lag behind in the polls and Harris picks up momentum, boom. So obviously, look, we'll get here and we'll be following this because this is, I just find this fascinating. And people have to understand this, that the president of America is the president of the world. We saw that in 03, the Iraq war. The UN are useless. <laughs> the UN are useless. The president of the world should be the president of the UN. But those guys are useless. The UN voted not to go into the war and Bush just vetoed and they went into war. So America is the police of the world. So whoever is the American president affects all of us. It affects everybody because America is the current day Roman empire. They, are, they, are the big, they have the biggest army in the world. Whoever has the biggest army in the world rules the world. <laughs> it's not who's the nicest, who's the coolest. Whoever has the biggest guns, biggest tanks, biggest army, they rule the world and they call this the shots. America is the UN of the world, not the UN. The UN are just clowns. America is the actual United Nations of the world. They are the world's police. Um, so whoever wins this, it's, 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 it affects the world. It affects all of us. We are all affected. Through some way, it doesn't matter who you are, which country you are, you are going to be affected some way by whoever the presence of America is. And as of me right now, what I'm saying right now, I, Trump wins. I don't see a scenario where Kamala Harris beats Trump. But please, people in the comments below, especially if you're American, tell me the comments below, tell me your views. But I just think like the racial angle of this race has just made things um, very intriguing.